Hi guys, it's Gene Bosler here. Thank you for tuning in. Today's safety topic is avoiding chainsaw kickback. First, we're going to go over what kickback is. Second, we're going to look at the part of the chainsaw where kickback primarily occurs. Third, we're going to look at a video or two. Don't worry, there won't be any blood. Fourth, we're going to discuss eight quick tips to avoid kickback. Fifth, and lastly, we're going to do a quick recap. I'll be entering the bullet points in the description below for handy reference. I would like for you to do six quick things for me. First, put your name or your nickname in the comments section so that I have documentation that you completed this safety briefing. Second, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Click the notifications bell so that you know when your next documentable safety briefing is available. Share this video with your crewmates and, well, with everyone you know in the green industry. Last but not least, please leave a comment or a question. What did I forget? What did I get wrong? What did I get right? Have you ever experienced chainsaw kickback? Tell us about it. Do you have a safety topic you would like for me to cover? Do you want to collaborate with me on a safety video? Okay, now let's get to it. What's the required PPE for chainsaw use? Hard hat, eye protection, ear protection, and chainsaw chaps. Okay, what is kickback? Kickback is the sudden upward or backward motion of a chainsaw guide bar. It's really a rapid transfer of energy, endangering the chainsaw operator. Kickback usually occurs when the upper tip of the bar contacts an object, usually wood. That's this part right here. Let's call this upper quadrant of the tip of the guide bar the kickback zone. Here's a video from David N23 Skidoo. This is Joe Glenn demonstrating chainsaw kickback. Okay, did you hear that click? That's the brake kicking in at the moment the saw suddenly jumps. I believe that's called an inertia brake. Pretty cool, huh? Well, it's actually nothing new. But wait, are you really going to rely on that to work every time? No. You're going to position your hand so that your top hand, your non-trigger hand, is going to engage the brake in the event the saw suddenly jumps back at you. You know, and of course, you're going to avoid contacting anything with the top of the tip. Now, watch this guy. This is from North Safety. This is a video that's been on the internet for about seven or eight years. See how suddenly that saw can jump? Okay, so how are we going to avoid kickback? Tip number one. Always be aware of the location of your bar tip at all times. Just as when you're using a kitchen knife, you maintain awareness of the knife's tip. Just as when you're using a firearm, you maintain awareness of the end of the barrel. Always maintain awareness of the top of the bar tip, the kickback zone. Number two, keep a solid footing and don't overreach when cutting. Number three, run the saw at full throttle during the entire cut, from the start of the cut through to the finish. Number four, avoid plunge cutting or bore cutting unless you've been trained in the technique. Number five, keep a solid grip with your left hand and keep your left elbow locked. Solid grip, left elbow locked, right? Number seven, always inspect the chainsaw brake before use. And number eight, keep the chainsaw in good working condition. Okay, let's recap in Spanish. El contragolpe ocurre cuando la barra de repente brinca atrás a la cabeza. El contragolpe generalmente ocurre cuando la punta de la barra hace contacto con un objeto. Preste atención a la ubicación de la punta de la barra en todo momento. Mantenga una base sólida y no se extralimite. Corre el serrucho a alta velocidad mientras está cortando. Evite perforar la madera a menos que haya sido entrenado. Mantenga un agarre sólido con la mano izquierda. No pellizque la barra dentro de la madera. Siempre inspeccione el freno antes de que use el serrucho. Y por supuesto, mantenga su serrucho en las mejores condiciones de funcionamiento. That's all. Thanks for watching. And please make sure you suggest the next safety topic. Again, I'm Gene Bosler. Stay safe. and stay healthy.